Phil, you want to start us off? Thank you, sir. His favorite song is on. Phil, you don't like the I know it is. Huh? I know it is. You hang around. Tonight's crowd of 20,738 marks the 58th consecutive sellout at Q2 Stadium, extending the league's longest active streak. We're going to start quickly with a, an opening statement from Josh, and then we'll take some questions. Thanks, everyone. Um, obviously an exciting, entertaining game, and um, a lot of credit goes to the fans. Again, um, the fans in the entire stadium. I see the fans all around the city, and they continue to be, <laughs> to be awesome. Um, I think you see what their energy can do to a, to a team, can do to a city, but um, certainly tonight where you're dominating the opponent and you're probably a little unlucky to not grab first goals. Um, uh, the energy and the support, the noise, the volume, um, once you're rewarded with one goal, you can see what, it's, what it does to the group and how it spurs the group on to get the second and the third and the fourth. So um, a ton of credit to, uh, to the fans uh, throughout the stadium. And, um, you know, I think it's, it's nights like this that was why Q2 is so extremely special and the city of Austin is so special. So um, the players busted their ass. They got, um, you know, it's a game that probably could have gone either way. I think we're all honest in how that, how that played out. But our, our, our ability to, to grind and grab goals and then, you know, take momentum and really capture that was, uh, was, was, was impressive. And, um, you know, Seba Driussi is, um, again, one of the best players in the league. I think it's, it's clear when we have him and he's healthy, the impact that he makes with our group, um, both from an emotional standpoint, obviously the quality is quite clear. Um, he makes all of the players around him better. And um, it's not surprising that we went two in a row with him on the field and starting and getting, getting good form. But, um, you know, he's, uh, he's a catalyst for many things that this, this club has done over the, the, successful, the successful times. And, um, you know, he's much, much needed. And, uh, you know, it was a fantastic group effort tonight. The subs came in, did an excellent job. The starters hammered away and just pounded on San Jose. And um, in the end, it gets a little stretched. Not our game. We can't play that way. But um, we found a way to win. And at the end of the day, as you guys remind me all the time, it's about winning. So we got four goals. We won the game. We move on to next week. Thanks, Josh. Phil, go ahead. So on Thursday, you were saying you didn't have a favorite Lemurga song. And I'm wondering, <laughs> after hearing All Right, All Right, All Right, yeah. after four different Austin goals, if you have reconsidered I your can't position. Hear, I can't hear anything out there. The noise is deafening. Um, the lights get going. The fans get going. You know, we're high-fiving guys on the sideline. But um, the energy is awesome. Um, the fans, the supporter sections kill it every, every game. But you can see it's... It's not lip service. It, it, brings, it brings energy to the group. And, of course, there's good times and, and bad times. But um, when they're able to hang in there, we've had bad weather. We've had good results, bad results. Again, the, the, the ability to stay true and, and, keep, and keep inspiring our players is, um, is awesome. In return, I think you see what our players have always done. They keep competing. They work extremely hard. Um, our staff, our players, and everyone involved in this organization does everything they can for the players and, and obviously for the city to have success. Yeah, and then this is uh, two comeback wins in a row. Sure. So just uh, wanted to get your thoughts on the, the character of the guys and what this is showing exactly. Yeah. I, can, I think both games were quite similar. You're, you're pounding on the opponent. You're pinning them in. You're creating many opportunities in and around their goal. It's corner kicks. It's, it's throw-ins. You're in the box. We could probably do a little better job in the first half of being more purposeful, finishing our attacks, getting in line. Um, talked about coming in in the second half and, again, utilizing what we, what we did well in the first half and expanding on it. Same side, behind the line, things that we work on and talk on. You saw it against Dallas as well. Um, but it's about execution. It's discipline, it's decision making, and execution. When those things are in place, um, on top of the ability to now pound and press and, and, and uh, pin the opponent, it makes it challenging. And um, we got to clean up some of the things we did. There was some decision making, uh, the goals that we gave up. I think um, we have more than enough numbers. The decision to, to step at times is, is not a correct decision. But, um, you know, again, guys found a way to, uh, to get it done. As you said, we've come, behind, come from behind. You know, some of these games we have the lead. We've got to do better with extending leagues and burying the opponent. But, um, you know, we came from behind, took the lead, and we took a lead twice, so, or three times. So it was good. Yes, sir. Yeah, uh, congrats on the win, Coach. Um, yeah, what's it like to coach a team in a match like this with like this many momentum shifts? Is it uh, difficult to ensure everyone stays to the game plan? Yeah, I think it's a big part of it. It, it. Again, if it's not broke, don't fix it. The guys are doing a good job. You, you're arriving in the box with numbers. You're getting in front of goal. You are getting generating shots. You're generating. You're, you're consuming territory. You're grabbing corner kicks. Um, you know, you're inside. They were in our box four times and had two goals. I mean, it was pure domination um, for most of the game. Transition 
has been a little bit of an Achilles heel for us always. But um, obviously when you're down a goal, you're taking some level of risk. I don't want us to take too much risk, but those are what those moments are. And there's still numbers there to make good decisions and deal with the situation. So um, we reflected in the off season. We've talked uh, adamantly about that with our guys. And, and when we are in transition, it's, it's just about reconnecting the back line. Get the numbers there. Don't compound one poor decision with another poor decision. So we'll work on it. We'll talk through it with our guys. But um, we you know, celebrate the good moment. It's um, a, hell of a, a hell of a comeback, and the guys deserve a lot of credit. Great. Yeah, the, uh, the second goal kind of comes shortly after a throw-in. Just how mm -hmm. big of an emphasis has set plays been for your team this season? Um, they've always been an emphasis. I mean, I think we've, we've been one of the best teams in the league with set pieces. We talk about corner kicks, free kicks. We could probably be better, um, just the, 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 the standard free kicks. But corner kicks, throw-ins, um, we, we get a lot of success out of second phase where we hover in the space. So, um, you know, in 22, we were one of the best in the league with set pieces. Defending set pieces have been a problem. So we've, we've put a lot of time into that, and thus we've, we've been actually one of the stronger ones. We give up a large volume, but we've dealt with most of it. Um, we could have been better, again, transition off of throw-ins. But they got after us a couple times, so um, areas to clean up. But it's, it's been prosperous for us, the throw-ins, but um, the corner kicks as well. So, um, you know, we got to keep getting better at, at both ends of the field. The, the games are decided in the penalty boxes. So we, we, we got things to work on as well. Eric? Josh, in, you know, your whole time in the sport, playing, coaching, when, you're, when your team you're on wins a, a match in this fashion, yeah. um, first of all, how, I mean, just how validating is that? And, and can it carry over and be the kind of thing that you, know, you see reflected in training and then in future games? Well, I think so. I think um, when you have good moments, the, the eyes, the ears, the minds are a little more open uh, when you're winning games. You, you still have to find ways to teach and bring new ideas to light. Um, players are probably a little more responsive when you know the team's doing well. Individual performance or the group's results uh, are strong, but um, we got to keep improving. I've said it um, a number of times. We're a light group. We don't have a lot. We don't have a lot of players. So um, staying healthy is extremely important. The performance, the consistency inside performance is really important. Um, and, and again, the discipline and commitment from the guys is it has to be there. And then decision making, and execution is what's gonna what's gonna define success. And, and, and we'll call it failure, but you know, losses. Losses are opportunities opportunities to learn and um, you know we're, we've won two we've lost two we've tied three so um, like many teams in our league right now we have we have work to do you know I think going back to 2022 and one of the things we heard a lot about from you and also from the players is how united the group felt and maybe yeah. some of that wasn't as strong last year Are, it, first of all you got a smaller group so you know maybe it's you know there's it maybe yeah. feels a little bit tighter and also wins like this can that really help you guys get to that place where it feels that that unified yeah, I think um, wins like this galvanize a group, galvanizes the city, it galvanizes fans. And, um, you know, we know fans, media, owners, they care about winning. You know, how we win, I'm sure most of you guys could, could care less. Um, I care about that, but that's my job, and that's, you know, Roto. We have a, we have a philosoph you know, philosophy of how we want to do things, but um, at the end of the day, it's about winning games. It's, you guys, again, as I've said, remind me all the time when, we, when the losses pile up, but um, when you're winning, it feels good. The guys respond well, and we'll, we'll hopefully look forward to the next, the next match. Um, you know, we go on the road. we got four or five on the road, I think, going forward, and um, we'll, we'll regroup. We'll keep getting better, and um, like I said, we'll, we'll do our best to keep these guys fit and healthy and, and give ourselves a fighting chance each and every week. Well, then, just real quickly, in terms of the manner of winning tonight, was any, any cause for concern you saw in terms of a possible step back from a defensive standpoint? Um, again, it's transition, so I don't, you know, mid block, nothing, high press, nothing. But as we're finalizing attacks and we're creating overloads, and we had a boatload of success against Dallas, um, we have a lot what we do in these these overloads, and especially with Owen and Seba and Johnny tonight on that side. You know, Espinoza is a guy that can run; he's dangerous in transition. But the more we could operate around him, the more we could try to pin him back. But transition is just that. How do you have the numbers in and around the ball? Can you press right after loss? Some of those transitions are literally off throw-ins, and some maybe off a corner kick or two, but um, we have to do a better job when we have those numbers of, of closing down the ball, killing opportunities. Um, and if we're in trouble there, foul there. Not, don't, don't allow it to get all the way up to, to, to our area but, um, or in, in our area. But, uh, 
you know, I think that's a transition thing. That's not defending. That's not a, a structural thing. That's, again, it's going to have to do with a little bit of positioning while we're finalizing attacks, and it's decision making. We made bad decisions to step when we should drop, reorganize, and, and give ourselves the opportunity to delay and allow our players to recover. And the players on the field knew it. They said it to me right after the game. They come up and they're apologetic in one breath, and they're extremely um, exacerbated in the other because they won the game and they pushed through the difficult moments, and they deserve um, all the credit. Jorge. Uh, Josh, uh, I have a quick one. Uh, do you, what, uh, what do you think about uh, Casca uh, Stuber's fault? Do you think uh, he deserved yellow or red? What do you think, Jorge? I think he deserved in any part okay. of the world red. That was, well, I mean, I'm just asking. Yeah, no. I think, you know, I think the refs got it right. Okay, perfect. Now, uh, we play, uh, I mean, it seems like we have 62% of uh, position, but it seems like MLS just wants to give six shots to, uh, to, to the team. Uh, is that enough, or it was less than what you, or that we, what we see, we I, saw? I don't, you know, again, I don't know what the stats say, and, and we'll look at the game, and we'll, we'll get um, a better feel for it, but I thought the guys did a good job. Okay, and uh, we play, uh, well, I mean, the team play against uh, the two of the worst teams. Mm. We're going to have three weeks. I mean, two, two of the worst teams right now. Right. So we're going to have uh, three weeks, very, uh, very hard weeks, yeah. the following three games. Do you think mm. um, it's going to be back to reality? Mm. We'll, we'll work hard to do our best in the next game. And the last one, sorry. Okay, last one. The All last right. one. Um, uh, Rigoni, about Rigoni, uh, what, are, what is his uh, status, um, what, what is his level or, or why he uh, has been benched lately? Well, I think the team is performing quite well. We've won two games and uh, the guys that are on the field are executing quite well and Emmy works extremely hard and there's nothing. The team is winning, so it's challenging to get in the group. Phil? Okay, uh, one last question here. Um, so I know that you treat each season as its own animal, but this is the first time that Austin's beat San Jose, and this has been kind of an increasingly crazy series. Yeah, it's um, a great. I series. just wanted to just want to get your thoughts on what does it mean to finally get over. What's on this the team? overall record? Do you know? I think it's maybe one win now, five draws, two losses. Yeah, a lot of a lot of draws. That's, yeah. that's how I view. A lot of goals, a lot of draws. They're a good team. They're they're the diehards. Um, Jorge's got it. You, you knew he would. He, Yeah, I think I think Phil, <laughs> Phil's Phil's pretty good at his job. He's got it. Jorge's backing you up though. He's he's great. Um, I think uh, you know I think San Jose is a good team. They, we've had difficult games against them. They're a fast team. It's this doesn't look too unlike some of the games that we've had. We've had leads against them many times. They keep coming. They keep um, you know they keep keep at it. They stay in the game as well and. Uh, you know, I think we've had a couple games there where it was, you know, late in the season or we lost 3-0 there. But there's often times we grab the leads and it's tough to hold on. They bring a lot to it. They have speed, power. They have quality in front of go. Espinoza, for me, is probably one of the best, to me, probably the, the best winger in the league as far as being well-rounded. His ability to dribble 1v1, run behind the line, shooting, crossing, um, defensively fairly responsible. So, you know, he's, he is as impressive a winger as there is in the league. And Jeremy's a good, is a good goal scorer. So, uh, you know, I, I know some of these guys... Um, you know, in, in a decent manner, and uh, you know they they they're a well they're a well coached team. They're organized and they have speed and power. And um, as I mentioned, we're an experienced group. We probably have a little bit older legs in a, in our in our group, so we can't afford to play games like this that are transition wide open. We control the game in Dallas for most of it. That's what we need to do. Um, most of the game tonight, we control. We cannot allow the game to turn into a foot race. We will struggle like that. We we don't have the speed to compete with some of these teams. So we got to continue to get better at that and be very mindful of what we're trying to achieve. And um, you know, be more tactically aware and fouling in the right moments, have numbers to press. And uh, like I said, we got work to do. There's lots of um, positives to take from the game, but there's still lots to work on. Any other questions, guys? Um, we won. That's why I joined. Thanks, everyone. Appreciate your time. Feel free to follow me. I'll bring you into the locker room.